A very welcome we are here with 18th of May's Godly Blessing. How to become a special soul with the power of purity of course. Because as soon as we say special we think it has got something to do with our outer appearance, something to do with our external wealth and something to do with our accolades, posts and positions. But this has got something to do with something which is very sacred and pure which is purity and divinity of the mind, intellect and habits. So Godfather here says in this beautiful Vatan that may you be a special soul who does everything while seated on the seat of a swan. Now if you're seated on the seat of a swan, it's a depiction of deities, especially deity Saraswati. And she's seen seated on a swan and that's a symbol of purity, white color, purity. And also the swan is always picking up pearls and not the pebbles. In case of stocks, they pick up the pebbles. So God says, and thereby become an embodiment of success. So the only method of success is purity. God says the decision-making power of the children who carry out all their tasks while seated on the seat of a swan becomes elevated. The decision-making power of the children who carry out all their tasks while seated on the seat of a swan becomes elevated and this is why whatever task they carry out success will be merged in it just as you carry out your tasks while seated on your chair in bracket of position not a physical chair but of position you are a manager you are a chairman whatsoever in the same way Paul says keep your intellect on the seat of a swan that means I have to have pure thoughts divine thoughts and souls will continue to receive love and power even through worldly tasks. So when we have pure thoughts, pure thinking, the souls who are around us will start receiving love and power through us even through worldly tasks. Every task will easily be successful. It will become successful because of our pure thoughts, divine thoughts. So seat yourself on the seat of a swan and consider yourself to be a special soul when you carry out any tasks and you will continue and will become an embodiment of success. So that means that I can have thoughts of greed, I can have thoughts of ego and jealousy while making any decision but that is going to make me not successful. It's going to make me have my relationships which are going to be estranged. And if you don't have good relationships, automatically the work doesn't get done. So that's what God says that carry out every task while being seated on the seat of a swan. Now, how do we do this? There are many, many different angles to it. And all those angles I explained at Brahma Kumaris within a seven day course. You're most welcome to visit a center nearby you. Om Shanti.